Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a slightly different haul for you because we are going to be looking at Disney bounding items for my trip to Disneyland Paris in June. I'm super excited. Let's get started. So it turns out I had four concepts in mind of Disney bounds that I would like to do. The first is Aurora as Briar Rose. The second is Ariel as classic Ariel mermaid style. The third is Ariel town dress. And the fourth is Vanessa, AKA Ursula in her human form. And it turns out that now is the perfect time to be doing these Disney bounds because somehow and incredibly, Everything is in fashion that I need to do these. So let's take a look. I am going to start with, I, I bought a lot to get the perfect items. I'm gonna say that. I sent a lot of it back because I didn't need it. So I'm not showing you everything because there was like <laughs> three or four times as much as I've got here. But what I have narrowed it down to is these outfits and I'm gonna share them. So. Welcome to the Little Mermaid's Town Dress Disney Bound. So what I have here is this shirt, which is absolutely perfect. I will link everything below, so if you want to go looking for it, you can. This is a shirt, sheared shirt dress, uh, uh, shirt thing. Uh, it's from New Look, and it was about 10 pounds in the sale, which is amazing. And it's got the puffy sleeves. It is absolutely spot on. Then I have the boob tube, the bandeau top to go over the top. This is also from New Look and this was $5.99. I also have this. Now I wouldn't normally go for a satin skirt, but hello, it's the perfect color. And this is also from New Look. So the three places I bought stuff from were New Look, Next, oh, Sketches, and that's it, ASOS, ASOS. So there you go, and this, is it's a Medaxi royal blue satin skirt. So that is her town outfit and is gonna be absolutely perfect. And this bow. So they had two different bows in New Look. This is a New Look again that I was looking at and I think this one is perfect because it actually goes really well with the shirt. The other one I had was a, a shorter one and a more solid textured one. And it was a brighter blue. It didn't quite go with the shirt nearly as well as this, which is funny because off the shelf if I'd have gone in store I would have bought the other one and not this one but I bought them online so I could send them back and then I don't have a lounge fly so that that features Ariel in her town dress so what I'm thinking is I'm gonna take the blue hydrangea sequin one that I wore the other day so that is my plan for Ariel so that is outfit number one uh, I could use one of the Ariel bags behind me so I've got um, the comic book one, that's the one I'm thinking of if I'm going to take one. Or, well, no, yes. Yeah, I think that's the only one because otherwise she's in the pink dress in that one, she's in her wedding dress in that one, and is there another one? Yeah. Yeah, so I feel like the blue hydrangea when I thought about it, I was like, oh my god, that's perfect. And I went into Sketches and I found, I went looking for something called... Clio Arch Fit, because I love their Arch Fit shoes, they are amazing, but unfortunately they are wider than I was expecting. Now I have wide feet, but I was walking around the store in the in the size threes and they were gaping and I was like, Disneyland is not going to work. Shame, they would have been perfect, but I did find these in the sale. So they are this dark navy blue, 25 pounds, amazing. And I thought these are perfect. These are also arch fit and air cooled. And I think they'll go really nicely. So I'm so excited to finally do a proper aerial band. So there is number one. Number two is Aurora as Briar Rose. I am so excited for this one. I think this is my favorite. So let me get the skirt. Okay, so here we have this amazing 
skirt. This is from ASOS. This was in the sale and it's this gorgeous mesh and it's like, it's just between my knee and my, it's like half length basically. And it's so pretty. And the thing is, looking at Briar Rose, there are so many different colors. So my Disney traditions and my two lounge flies all have completely different colours and my Aurora Funko as Briar Rose. They're all completely different colours so there's a bit of flexibility when it comes to this and I did find a pink version of this which is longer but it was longer so it's not nearly as practical. This is perfect in terms of length and because I'm going in the summer so I don't want to boil, I get really overheated anyway so I'm thinking as, as light layers as I can go with. The skirt's still quite heavy, but hopefully it'll be about 25 degrees, in which case it should be fine. But how gorgeous is this colour? And then I've got the same bandeau top to go over the top of it. Let's try and lay it out here for you. So there's the skirt. I'll show you the top next, actually, because the bandeau's going on top. So this is the top that I'm going to put with it, and this again is a new look top. And it's this really pretty, like, mink, slightly cowl neck. Gorgeous. I really, this is my favourite outfit. So we'll put those together. And then, as I say, this bandeau top over the top, because she has a corset with it as well. I'm hoping I won't have to remove this through the part way through the day. But if I do, then I will. And perfect headband, courtesy of New Look, for £6. It's so lightweight as well. And it is velvet absolutely spot on for what she wears so that's going to be with me and this is a pashmina i've had for years it was like two for five pounds and oh ears i always forget about my ears it is the absolute perfect color for her shawl so i'm going to be carrying that around with me as well um in terms of shoes for briar rose i'm going to go with these sketches pink pretty because I figure she's barefoot so again if the Clio arch fit had fit and and worked how I wanted them to that's what I was going to wear but these are actually really nice because they'll kind of look like I'm barefoot and I think they tone really nicely with that so I'm so excited I don't think there's any jewellery I'm going to add to either of these but I do have jewellery for some of the other bounds and I might might come up with some ideas but I'm just so excited to have the main bound sorted. That's just incredible. So there you go. That is Aurora. No ears, but we've got the headband and the bag is either going to be, well, it's probably going to be my Chris's lounge fly, actually, the one I bought the other day, because that's the one that tones best with this. And she's more prominent on that. Whereas if I take the other one, uh, she's more prominent on this one. If I take this one, she's much smaller and tinier. So I think pink is going to be better so that's my plan for her outfit number three well since we've got this skirt out let's do Vanessa next so Vanessa I'm actually so proud of some of the details I've come up with for this which is why I was really excited to share it with you because literally I went shopping for these items and I was just like oh my god oh my god oh my god like everything was just perfect like so we're going with this skirt i was going to get a skater style pull on purple more like a royal purple from amazon but actually looking back at the photos of vanessa it is a lighter purple and if i can get double wear that means more room for souvenirs and not as much room for packing stuff to take with me which is perfect so we're going with this skirt again i've got this vest top from next which is actually it looks like quite a bluey colour. It's certainly a deep colour, but I think actually it's going to look really nice together. So this is like, because she, she doesn't have a bodice, I thought she did over the top, but she doesn't. She has like a vest top which happens to have some little tie bits here. So I'm not going to duplicate those, I'll just leave it as this. Um, I, I could add some, probably thread it through, it wasn't that expensive, but I'm not going to bother with that, I'm just going to do this. And then there's the necklace that I bought the other day, but I did then find this in the entertainer. And, hang on. So, my only thoughts with this are, this looks to me like 
the Little Mermaid seashell in the live action, which I still haven't seen yet, so I can't say for certain, but that definitely looks more like that to me. However, I think for the size and the fact it glows and the fact it sings, as much as the one from Amazon is really pretty and really delicate and elegant and grown up and lovely and sophisticated, I think this one might be more me. <laughs> I just love the idea of being able to walk around. And then perhaps the thing I'm most excited about, I'm, pr I'm probably gonna put it with these shoes, but I feel like Vanessa is probably barefoot on the beach, so I could wear these. So I'll make a decision on the day with this. And she doesn't have anything in her hair, but I have a ring, oh, which is, I have a ring that I made years ago, which is just little like funky shaped pearls on what happens to be a purple wire. So I was gonna wear that. And then I'm gonna try and find some seashell type earrings like the ones she wears when she's in her octopus form. And this is the bit I'm most excited about, or most proud of, shall we say. I've got this color pashmina, the purple, and this color pashmina, the green. And I'm thinking, so I started off, the purple is, is great because it's very tonal and it really gives like Ursula vibes. Oh, I've also got an, um, a pair of Mickey ears that I ordered from eBay coming as well. So I'll show you those in a different video because I forgot about those and I was too excited and wanted to show you this all now. But how much is this the right sort of color for Flotsam and Jetsam? So I might wear the green with it and pretend that it's like Flotsam and Jetsam like wrapped around like I think that would be really cool so I'm excited to do that I'm probably going to take both of these and again make a call on the day should we have a look at this necklace though a bit closer let's see oh I started off piling this up so nicely next to me so you could kind of see the outfit together but it's um it's all gone to, it's all gone pear shaped right let's keep the ring on for a moment let's have a look at this because this was like five pounds this was half price in the sale I'm really pleased with that here we go. Okay, let's have a little look. So this is not on a, an elegant chain or anything like that, because it's made for little children, not adults in their 30s. Here we go. I think there's a demo mode on it. I have a feeling it has multiple songs. Let's see. Yeah. Okay, I think that's now off. Let's see. No, okay, that's off. It's going on for longer. Yes, right? Okay, I think this is going to win. I think it might do more than one song as well. Let's just see. Let's try it again. Oh no, maybe. Just one song. Oh, it's really short. Okay. My other question. Look, it's got little seashells. Oh. My other question is, oh, is that going to stay? Will that survive Big Thunder Mountain? I'm probably, okay, so what I'm probably going to try and do is test it and or get uh, some of my old jewellery making stuff out and just make a chain for it so that it's a bit more sturdy. Oh, it feels quite a good size. I feel like it's massive on a little girl. Um, there we go. So that's my plan. And I'm very excited for it. Ah, I can't wait to be a baddie. I've never been a villain before, ever. I can't wait to be Vanessa. Oh, and I've got a purple cardigan I could put with it as well if it gets cold. But that's also the benefit of the pashmina, is if it does, then I can get changed as well. In, like, wear that. Oh, I miss these in my excitement. These were just too cute. These were in sketches again. <laughs> and... <laughs> They're like little butterflies and I thought well if Aurora was going to wear a pair of sunglasses it would probably be a pair of sunglasses that were sparkly and shaped like butterflies and I think these are for children but they fit me really well so I think <laughs> 
this is my plan and I just love them. Look, they're like ombre pink and peach and purple. They're so pretty. They're gonna look amazing with it. <laughs> and then last but not least, we have my Aerial Bound. Now this was, I, I was the least happy about this to start with because I found this amazing skirt. Oh, which I was gonna show you. I've packed it away to send it back, sorry. I'll put a picture in of a screenshot. It was basically, it was a sequin, all over sequin skirt with a little slit. It was about calf length and it was amazing. It was absolutely perfect if you were gonna be a mermaid. The problem was I ordered both the size 12 and 14 in the skirt and they were both too small. I could just about do the 14 up and it was like tight. So I ordered the 16 and the 18 and they both did up, but then they were really long and quite bulky around my legs. so. That didn't really work. So I've sent those back, unfortunately. But I found this very pretty skirt, which again is from New Look. So we're back to, so New Look did really well for Disney bounding. This is so pretty and this is so me. Like this is a skater style skirt. It's textured, it's a lovely green. I love the fact it's textured. I think that's really nice for doing an aerial Disney bound. So I've got that. And then because I was gonna do the um, sequin skirt, I bought this t-shirt from Next, which was just very simple, very plain, but the right kind of like really vibrant purple. And actually it looks so cute together. I did also buy, um, ASOS had a textured, Bando top which was really cute and actually the two textured look really nice I'll, I'll add a picture of me in it um, but I feel like this is just going to be easier to wear around the park on a hot day less likelihood of anything falling out of where it should be and um, <laughs> keep me a bit more protected from the sun as well so this is my aerial look I've got my aerial ears I've got about four different pairs I can pick from and I've got this bracelet which I bought on Etsy a few, maybe like two years ago, and it's all little like scallop shells. So I thought I could wear those. I've got Sebastian shoulder plush so I can take him. And oh, that was the other reason for going for the t-shirt because if I wore a boob tube, there's nothing to like plug Sebastian onto. <laughs> <laughs> so that's my plan there and I've got a bag which I haven't shown you yet oh do I show you now do I show you now or not okay I'll tell you because I haven't shown you any of the lounge flies really I've got the lounge fly satchel bag which I will be showing in another video if I haven't shown you already by the time I post this here it is so I'm gonna be taking this so those are my Disney bounds. Which is your favorite, do you think? Have you been inspired by any Disney bound ideas? Who has your favorite ever Disney bound been? Because so far I really enjoyed, I really enjoyed my Mighty Thor bound and I really enjoyed my Loki bound. But then I also had real fun as Captain Marvel. And I was quite pleased with my impromptu Scarlet, uh, not Scarlet Witch, uh, Black Widow one. Oh, that's a tough one. I don't know. I don't know which my favourite has been, but I've got to say I'm going super girly this time with all the princess themed ones. I might add a princess jasmine as well because I would really love to use my princess sequin series. Having shown it to you the other day on my top five lounge fly videos, I really want to take it. Um, so to be confirmed. Oh, that was something I thought of for the Vanessa actually, was maybe my purple celebration bag because I don't have an Ursula lounge fly. So, sorry, I've been jumping all over the place with this video because I'm just so excited. And there's so many things, I've actually got a list. Um, yeah, so that's it. And then the only other thing that I might wear, and it, it doesn't bound as well, because like these, these will be great as well for the aerial fish version. So actually I just need these two pairs of shoes, but I also got these in Skechers. Because how pretty are these? Look, they are pearlescent and they've got a heel. They're like slightly platformy, like high heeled for trainers and they are beautiful, but they don't really technically go with the outfits, but I really want to wear them and they're super pretty. So <laughs> I mean, you might see these in photos after I've been, but the plan is, the pink versions and the blue versions and the, how nice is that that I can put them to with with each of the four Disney bounds I do have one extra day that I'm going for so we will see what happens with that whether I go the jasmine route 
or whether I just go with like a Disney t-shirt or I'm not really sure what other option there would be. But I hope you enjoyed seeing them. I hope it gave you some inspiration if you are thinking of your next trip and hoping to come up with some Disney bounds. And until next time, thanks so much for joining me. Take care and bye for now.